Across the state of California, CAL FIRE is always working ahead. In the winter and spring, when fire season dies down, they're busy prescribing burns, also known as controlled burns, to get the upper hand on the fire season to come. We're not naive in thinking that these field breaks, these prescribed burns, that it's going to be the end-all be-all answer and we're going to be able to just walk away and be good. We know the fire is going to continue to burn for these wind-driven fires. We want a chance to, to make a stand and really to help preserve life if a fire does burn through that area. It was a story I was on the scene of last year, the Valley Fire near Alpine, and just a few weeks later, the Silverado fire in Orange County uh, because it is just coming down on this hillside here behind us. The need obvious to clear dead and dry plants, weeds and make way for fire resistant plant life. Ultimately, the burns being done to help ecologically to help bring that forest back. And then, of course, the added bonus is that we're getting our guys trained. We're getting them out there. I'm um, dealing with fire conditions that um, are hopefully less extreme than, than what we're going to see here in a couple months. And that directive even coming down from the state of California to direct more money and resources toward these burns as wildfires destroy animal and plant life in the millions of acres each year. We're trying now to do that. And we recognize that that requires efforts to do prescribed burns. It requires efforts to get mechanical equipment out into the forest to prepare for those prescribed burns. But do these prescribed burns inherently harm plants and wildlife? Experts say not as much as you might think. With the slower pace and smaller acreage of controlled burns, animals are able to clear out safely, unlike with fast-moving wildfires. Plus, with fires being a natural part of the cycle, these burns can actually help foster more growth. Without fire, we're going to lose a lot of these plants that have evolved with fire and require fire in order to regenerate. Now, during the pandemic, Cal Fire says their crews were mainly concerned about getting that vaccine distributed. That was their top priority. But now, as things dry out and as we see more fires pop up, they say their crews are going back out in the field more and more often. Fire researchers say to expect an already severe drought to worsen the 2021 fire outlook, with fire starting earlier and burning more intensely. That's why they say the focus should be on prevention, giving firefighters and residents near the flames a lasting chance at defending our land when flames start. Our education's never going to stop. We're always going to be out there kind of beating that drum and, and making sure that people understand the importance.